Namaste, friends. <clears throat> it's Jenny, and I'm here with you from how beautiful on the mountains yoga. So here in the mountain state, it's not real beautiful outside. So you're joining me in my in-progress yoga space that is indoors and out of the rain and here in the mountains. So <laughs> um, we are, I am here to um, have this mini workshop with you. Um, and I am excited to teach you floor bow. And it's just one of the um, poses that you might run across in any given yoga class. Um, it's a little bit challenging, but I'm going to try to make it fun. I want to try to make it accessible and um, show you different ways that you can do floor bow um, that will be right for you and your body at any given time. Uh, it, I, I'm so glad that you decided to click on this link and decided to join me for this. Um, and, and you need to know that um, it is so wonderful that you took the time uh, to, to learn this to be here, to take some time out of your really busy day, to um, to take some time for you and to to learn something new. So I'm really excited to, to share this with you. So Florbo, um, some of the benefits that you can have from doing Florbo would be um, some flexibility and mobility um, increase. Um, so if you are somebody who sits a lot, you know, during your day, you sit in office, you sit in your car, you're driving, and your body's constantly forward, or maybe you're hunched over your computer screen or your phone. When we sit this way, our bodies don't get a chance to, to go backwards, right? And you can really kind of start getting bound up a little bit that way. So floor bow is an exercise that will help open up that uh, mobility in your back. It can relieve some minor back pain. It can um, increase flexibility and elasticity in your in your spine. And, um, you know, it, it can fight fatigue. So if you're really tired, I mean, it might be because you're sitting forward. Um, so bringing yourself back might help increase some, some energy and kind of wake you up a little bit. So um, there's, and it improves your posture. It'll make you stand up just a little bit taller and who doesn't want that, right? Um, so before we begin, I want to give you a couple of don'ts. So if you are suffering from migraines or have any blood pressure issues, or um, you have a hernia, like a disc problem in your back, this might not be an exercise for you. It might not be a pose that you would want to do. And if I, if you were in my class and you had those issues, I would suggest a different pose, you know, something, something beneficial to you and your body, but you are the expert in your body. So be careful and, you know, talk to your doctor. If you think you have any of these concerns before you try this pose. And if you are pregnant, if you are pregnant, we don't, we're going to be on our bellies. Well, if you're pregnant, we don't want you to lay on your little papoose okay we want you to protect it all times now you can still do floor bow in an alternate way and I will show you that too so if you're pregnant don't turn off the video <laughs> just bear with me and I will show you a way that you can participate in floor bow safely for your baby okay so with that being said I am as I said I'm Jenny most of you know who I am and uh, I am a certified yoga instructor. Um, I have received my 200 hour yoga certification from H Happy Jack University. And also um, I have a specific certification in uh, yoga with uh, modifications and, and alternatives. So that being said, I'm giving you my expertise here. So that's, that's who I am. Um, I promise you that when you're done with this little workshop, this won't take long, but when you're done here, you will have the knowledge that you need to increase your ability to do floor bow. Okay. You will have fun doing it. I hope <laughs> you, 
if you're going to watch me do it, you're going to have fun. I, I believe me, I'm pretty sure you're going to laugh at me. <laughs> I'm going to laugh at me. So you just wait. <laughs> We're going to have fun and, and you're going to learn something new. And um, hopefully it can be something that you can build on in the future and you can revisit this. I'm going to keep this video out there on my website for free so you can revisit at any time um, to re uh, connect with what I'm saying so that you can continue to learn it. So um, that being said, let's go ahead and we're going to get started. I want you to get someplace really comfortable and give yourself a lot of room, at least enough room for your whole body to lay on the floor. Okay. So um, it doesn't matter what kind of mat you have. You can have a thin mat like I do. You can have a little thicker mat if you'd like either way, or you could be on the carpet bare floor and that's completely up to you but find a space where you're going to be well enough able to spread your body all the way out all right <laughs> all right so, so let's get some comfortable let's go ahead and get started we're going to start with some breathing exercises one of the things i want you to always remember is when you're going into this pose you should be warmed up already so so make sure you warm yourself up a little bit get those muscles going and if you haven't done that yet maybe uh give yourself uh, a moment pause the video and kind of you know give yourself a little bit of uh, a moment to warm up your to muscles and i hear that it's raining so if you hear something strange on the video it's it's rain <laughs> told you it's not very nice here in the mountains today <laughs> all right so here we go we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started with some breathing we're going to start we're going to change our physiology right now. We're going to take some deep breaths in and then let them out. I want these breaths to be, it's really important in this pose to be able to breathe. Holding our breath doesn't do us any good. So we're going to breathe in and breathe out all the way, all your air. When I want you to breathe in, I want you to breathe into your belly too. Well, let's raise our arms up, ready? <sighs> Exhale, all of it, release it all the way out. Breathe in. And exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Close your eyes if you feel comfortable. Lower your lids. Today, I am fearless. Today, I am going to do something to grow. And today, I am going to do something wonderful. Okay, take a deep breath. And exhale. All right, thanks. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm going to break this down first. I'm going to teach it, then I'm going to show it. Okay, so. All right, so when we do floor bow, we're going to be laying on our bellies first. Now, it doesn't matter if you have, while you're laying on your belly, if you have your ear down on the floor or not, but while you're doing the floor bow, it's important to keep your face facing forward. Don't twist your head to one side or the next. So when we're doing it, we're going to have our face facing forward. So our spine is straight. Um, that being said, I like to start floor bow with my forehead on the mat. So you'll be facing down on your mat, forehead touching the mat. And then it's important, like I said, to breathe to breathe and to relax your entire body. So as your body is relaxing, you'll be able to move your muscles a little bit. When we're not breathing, we're going to tense up and that won't help us. So breathing is important. We're going to lift our legs towards the sky and we're going to take a hold of our ankles with our hands, okay? And your immediate want, I guess you should say it, is to spread your knees out as you do that. But it's important that we try to keep our knees in hip distance. So when you go and you and you grab your ankles, your legs will splay, but I want you to try to bring them back in at least hip distance. 
Now, if you want to challenge yourself, bringing them in even closer, that's another story. But we're not going to try the challenge right now. We're going to just bring them in so that they're hip distance apart. And then to get into the bow, you're going to kick your feet into your hands. So your hands are going to hold your feet or your ankles and you're going to kick out and it's going to bow your back up off the floor or your belly is going to be the only part of you that's supposed to be on the floor. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to demonstrate this. And then I'm going to demonstrate different ways that it can be done in case that is not accessible for you today. When I say that, I don't mean it in a bad way. What I mean is some days you're going to feel like doing floor, floor bow. If you've been doing yoga for 20 years and you know how to do floor, floor bow, that's great. There's going to be days when you're going to say, not today, floor bow. I don't feel like it. That being said, there are other things that you can do that are very, very much floor bow, but they are whatever your body decides that it wants to do today. So while I'm showing you the alternatives, don't think that I'm cheating or that you're going to be cheating doing them. There's no cheating in yoga. You do what your body wants you to do today. And some days I don't want to do floor bow. And I'll just lay there <laughs> until it's time to move on to something else. And that is okay. So just saying. All right. So here I go. I'm going to start demonstrating. <clears throat> I'm going to get back here on my mat. <clears throat> Hopefully you can see me fine and that you can hear me as well. I'm going to get back on my mat. I'm a little bit tall, so but I want to be on my mat so that my face is not off the end of my mat. So I'm going to go down. And like I said, I'm going to put my forehead on the mat. My feet are laying down. My legs are hip distance apart. And my arms are going to start laying flat on the floor. So here I am. And take a deep breath in, let it out. And then when I breathe in, I'm going to grab my ankles, sometimes one at a time. And then I'm going to lift and breathe. Rock back and forth just a little as my belly Inhales and exhales. I'm bobbing gently on my belly. Now I'm going to release. Okay. I don't know how impressive that was. Really, I don't. I wasn't looking. <laughs> I don't know what it looks like to you. It felt good to me. It felt like I did it correctly. So hopefully I did. Now here's some alternatives in case that's not accessible to you. Honestly, it took me a whole year to learn how to do that, okay? Before that, I had to work my way up. So one of the ways you can work your way up is to do half floor bow. So a half floor bow, you could come to a sphinx position. So this is sphinx. You kind of, you're, you're literally sitting here like, the Sphinx in Egypt, right? Bring one leg up and grab one ankle. I can sit here on the floor like this. If this is too much, if this feels too tight, lower yourself in the front, okay? You can, and then try to bring your thigh off the floor. And then you lower, bring your arms back out, grab your other leg, take a deep breath in, and raise your thigh from the floor. Okay, so that's half a floor bow. You can also use a towel or a pillow. I've never really done this that much, but uh, by laying the tower pillow under your thighs can help you bring your thighs up closer, your legs are up closer as you're doing the floor bow. Now, as promised, 
I will show you what I would do if I were pregnant, okay? Also, you don't have to be pregnant to do this. This is, I do this one sometimes. Those days when I say, ah, no floorbow for me today, sometimes I'll do this one. I'm gonna show you on this side of my mat, but laying down, put your head on a bolster pillow or just on your arm was fine. Okay, legs down, bring one hand to your ankle. This leg on the bottom can help you balance and kick backwards into your hand, just like you were on your, on your belly, only we're doing it on our side. And now I'm gonna do it on the other side to show you that way. And because you're pregnant, if you're pregnant, you're going to roll on your back, not on your stomach. I would roll on my stomach if I'm not pregnant. Either way, but if you're pregnant, please don't roll over on your belly, roll to the side. Again, grab one ankle, kick back. And that's floor bow on your side. Now, there's one more variation I'd like to show you. And I this is the one that I think that you're gonna laugh at, okay? <laughs> because I've only just done it the one time before I started the video, because um, I wanted to see if I could do it. And honestly, it's challenging for me because I don't know, I don't use my strap very often, but get a strap. You can get one that's like a legit yoga strap, or I sometimes use a leather belt or just a belt, okay? But you can get a belt or a strap or a towel. That will work too. And uh, I think the trick here is getting it around my feet. I <laughs> Or getting it around my legs and like keeping it around my legs. So I think it's because uh, I'm so tall. <laughs> I don't know if this is easier for people that are shorter than me or not. If it is, if you try this and it seems easier for you, put it in the comment section. I want to know, how do you get into this with the strap? <laughs> so um, this is the only way I could think of to do it, was to literally lay the strap down um, so that I could reach it. And then I'm sitting here trying to figure out how to get the strap up. Oh, I did it that time. <laughs> Last time I was getting it caught on my knees. I'm like, how do I do this? And then being able to pull, a, pull it towards me and then go up into the floor bow, still trying to keep my legs, my knees hip distance. It's a little bit easier to pull your legs together with the strap, but trying to keep it hip distance and then take a deep breath and pull and kick at the same time. So you're coming up and back down. So there you go with the strap. So if you can't grab a hold of your ankles, the strap or the towel might be the way to go for you until you get that flexibility. And like I said, the more you practice it, the more mobility, the more flexible, the more elasticity you get in that lower back region, the better your floor bowls will end up. And you'll have, you know, a, it's a core exercise. So it's going to strengthen your core. It's going to give you that boost of energy that you need because it really affects those glands. And I think they're the adrenal glands. See, I'm getting all technical now <laughs> that help fight fatigue. So in the middle of the day, if you've been sitting all day and you've been, or you've been driving and you just need a break from that, if you have the ability to lay yourself out on the floor and do a floor bow, um, you know, that's perfect. And it's a great challenge too. It's a great thing that you're into, um, you know, trying to do something that you've never done before. Floor bow is a great one to try. Um, I like it because it's challenging. It's a back bend and I don't have to worry really about my balance. You know, a lot of challenging poet, poet, um, 
poses for me is about balance. And this one, I don't have to balance anything because I'm already on the floor, right? I'm not going to end up on the floor when I don't want to be. I'm already on the floor. Um, but being able to get that benefit of really stretching my back out, really getting that um, that fatigue out of there. And like I said, we spend an awful lot of our time this direction, and we don't realize that just bending ourselves in the opposite direction can help eliminate a lot of that stiffness and that soreness that we have. Um, counter pose after you do floor bow, it's a really great idea. So after you've left floor, floor bow, come on back into a child's pose. So lean forward. You can go into a regular child's pose or you can do an extended child pose. And ground yourself back down for the rest of the day. So there's Florbo. That's your tutorial. That's something that I think that, um, you know, maybe you would enjoy. I really hope that you did enjoy it. I hope that you come back to this video and let it help you guide you so that you can learn more about it or that you can practice it whenever you have a chance. Um, one of the things that um, I want you to do is I want you to try this. If you've watched this much of the video, I really want you to try doing it yourself. And in the comments, share what your experiences were. You know, tell me if you managed it. Tell me if you did it. Tell me if you, if you really messed it up. <laughs> Um, take a picture and share that with me. I would love to see how Florbo turned out for you, okay? And, or if you did the whole Florbo or half Florbo or a Florbo on your side, whatever you did, or maybe you just thought about Florbo and you said, I'm gonna do this later. Let me know. I want to know what your experience is with this, um, this pose. So um, that being said, I want to let you know that I have more tutorials coming up very shortly on January 7th, 2023. And a few days from now, that's a Saturday um, at 10 a.m. I'm going to be giving a free sun salutation workshop. Um, that will be um, sun salutation poses that are very common that you'll see a lot of if you go to any uh, yoga um, classes, you're, you're going to see these poses. So I'm going to be giving a beginner's tutorial on sun salutation poses Saturday, January 7th, 2023. If you do not, if you're not able to sign up for that class and it's a free class, I'd love to do it online and in person with you. I mean, <laughs> online as in on the Zoom call live with you. Okay. Um, if you can't, it's still going to be a free class. I want you to shoot me your email, you know, give me your email someplace and I will give you the link. It'll be my gift to you. Okay. It's my free gift to you. Um, sun salutation class. And, and it can be, if you can't make it Saturday, which I really hope you can, but if you can't, I will make sure that you get um, the video and it will be a gift. So, um, that being said, I want to go ahead. I want to close out this, this lesson with you. We're going to sit in a comfortable seated position. We're going to take some deep breaths. We're going to finish off and our lesson here today. We're going to um, seal our practice. Okay. I'm so happy that you were able to, to, to be with me here. Um, even if we weren't live, even if we weren't in person, I'm so glad that you're sharing this with me, that I'm able to teach you something. And um, I hope that this helped you um, grow in your Florbo experiences. So with that being said, taking a deep breath and release. Taking a deep breath and bring your arms up and bring your head in. The heart center, close your eyes. Let us take this energy, take this energy that you're feeling right now, this accomplishment, this, this growth and all this energy that you've built 
take it into the rest of your day and into the rest of your life off of your mat and share it with everybody in your world. Namaste.